Apple sugar prices send prices to a decade high. This is gonna have more of a catastrophic event across the board with food inflation more than you think, guys. People think sugar, sugar's no big deal. It is a big deal and it's gonna affect everything and I'm gonna explain why. Today I'm gonna give you guys some good information that might put some certain things on your radar at the grocery store before they either become a food shortage or too expensive and you no longer wanna buy it. This is good information for you to help with your prepping game and to help you fight against the upcoming food shortage with sugar and the more inflation that we're gonna see on our grocery store items. What you should know, coming right up. If you guys are brand new here, welcome to our awesome community where we have prepping tips, emergency preparedness, how to's, and we go over awareness, news that could affect you. If you guys find value in that, be sure to hit the notification bell so you can stay up to date. Let's jump into this one. We're gonna go over this important article at groceries.news about global sugar shortage sends prices to a decade high and how this shortage is gonna affect you and how it's gonna affect prices across the board with all your groceries. There are more troubles in the food sector as market manipulation has driven up the price of sugar while creating what appears to be impending sugar shortages. A lack of deliverable sugar ahead of Friday's expiry has sent the White Sugar's futures contract for May to its highest level in more than 10 years. I'm telling you, this is a big deal and it's gonna send prices up across the board and I'll get to that. According to John Stanfield, a senior sugar analyst at DNEXT Intelligence, the open interest for White Sugar or the number of contracts still needing to be closed implies a hefty delivery of the commodity above 880,000 tons. The problem is that when coupled with short positions, these contracts don't have the physical sugar to tender, meaning the markets are once again irreflective of reality and more supply troubles are on their way. And I know that you guys see a lot of videos on food shortages and the fact of the reality is it's a real thing. I just don't think that they want people to know. In the last three weeks, white sugar futures have surged in price by nearly 20%, hitting levels not seen since November of 2011. And we're seeing that across the board. We're hitting new records on all kinds of stuff these days, in a bad way. Related in the late 2010, heavy rains damaged sugar crops in Brazil, creating a shortage and sending prices soaring in 2011. And one of the big things happening here, guys, is global shortages of sugar expected to worsen as growers shift to even more soybeans. And we covered that in some previous videos. A lot of these farmers are having to jump ship to other farming endeavors to make it because of either fertilizers, lack of things that they need, or in some cases, they're just getting cornered and it's the only option they got. As usual, ordinary people will pay the price for the mess in the form of higher costs for sugar laden food items like candy, soda pop, and baked goods. This, in turn, will continue driving global food inflation at a time when prices are already at record high level. Now I told you, a higher sugar price or a shortage of sugar, how is that gonna affect everything across the board? Well, have you guys been at the grocery store lately? Looked at the sugar content in just about everything on the shelves? It's no joke, sugar has been added to just about everything. And when it comes to making that product from certain manufacturers, they're gonna have to buy that sugar or find that sugar at a higher price, which means they're gonna drive up their product prices as well. And I'm telling you guys, sugar is in everything. And this is regarding the majority of the population. I know some of you guys out there have cut out sugar, and that's something that I have done personally. You start digging into how your body reacts to sugar, you're gonna find some things that you don't like. So the less sugar you guys are eating, the better. According to Bloomberg, sugar prices have jumped on prospects for limited exports out of primary shippers like India, as well as lackluster supplies countries like China, Mexico, Thailand, and Europe. India is currently one of the largest exporters of white sugar, but due to quotas that are almost exhausted, shipments are low and there's no real expectation of an increase anytime soon, said Soren Jensen, a longtime market observer. So like I said, prices going up, shortages in sight, and no relief in sight. So this can serve as a warning, probably something you wanna notice if there's something out there that you guys are buying 
that has a lot of sugar in it, you might be watching those prices climb soon. It could be the case that India will soon have to shift from domestically produced raw sugar to imports from places like Brazil, which just began its sugar harvest. There are problems there too, though as Brazilian sugar is now competing against a record soybean crop for space on railways and the ports, this has created a transportation bottleneck. And you guys watch with all these issues with the trains and the railways, we're probably gonna be seeing a lot of those railways shutting down, a lot more restrictions probably soon to come with trains, which is just gonna further hinder supply chain issues. According to Wilmer International, head of analysis, Kiram Salomon, sugar output estimates for the 2022 to 2023 season will worsen and the existing global shortage problem in the months to come. So like I said, this is gonna serve as a pre-warning for our community. Sugar issues, more grocery inflation. Next year's crop will probably not be better, Solomon warned. The cane and beet acreage is likely to fall in most areas due to the effects of crop competition. And we know who's trying to buy up a lot of these crops, right? So just create millions of futures contracts and use high frequency trading back and forth with descending bids, joked one commenter, pulling a trick from the playbook of precious metals manipulators. You can drive the price down to your preferred level. It works perfectly for gold and silver. And that's another big play is you get all these global elites that are peddling a lot of this stuff that we need. They're going to play money games. Another person, a brewer, wrote that sugar costs have already doubled for him over the past year to the point that making beer is barely even viable anymore. Driving my point that I mentioned earlier, so many people out there that deliver so many goods to the grocery store and stuff that you buy uses sugar. Inflation is coming in droves and the theft is the only thing on the menu, wrote another. And you guys have seen a couple of my past videos, the mobs of teens going out and just ransacking stuff, stealing stuff out of stores. That's the direction people are gonna be headed when things get really tough. It's not gonna be not affording it anymore. It's gonna be breaking in and taking it. Many others pointed out that the average person could use a major cut in sugar consumption. Amen to that. So perhaps higher prices are a good thing. The point they are missing is that food prices all across the board, including sugar, are rising beyond what people can afford. And that's just it. The Food Network has implemented sugar to the point where it's in just about everything it's gonna affect everything. It continues to read, have you been at the supermarket lately or the grocery store? One said, show us one thing that has not had a decade high, please. And that's one thing that we all can certainly agree on is everything is inflated. Hyperinflation is what most people are saying. In conclusion, this is an engineered inflation said another, anything for an excuse to raise the prices. Also a common thought out there in our comments as well. The latest news about escalating food and inflation crisis around the world can be found at collapse.news. And again, guys, this news source is stemmed from Zero Hedge Natural News and is brought to us by grocery.news. So take this as a warning. Sugar shortages, sugar inflation expected in the coming months which could affect many things at the grocery store. So if you're trying to make your prepping list and there are some staples out there that must be on there that also have sugar, those could be ones that are affected in the coming months. But again, I would highly recommend you guys cutting out as much sugar as possible. I might have to do a video on that down the road and go through just how bad sugar is for you. But anyway, guys, if you missed this video right here, another great video to watch. And as I know more that you guys should be aware of, I will keep you up to date. Keep prepping, keep learning, keep doing. We'll see you on the next one.